Hello, it is William Calling from Movie Blogs, and today is very special not only because it is the fourth semifinal of Melody Grand Prix, but also because it is Sammy National Day. And this year, of course, in MGP, there are two songs with Yoiking. You've got Monument from Mr. Fred, Bulo, Love Him, and Kano, and also Pages from Marianne and Mikkel. In any case, we have Fred on the line to answer a few questions about yoiking, something he knows a lot about. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's ask these questions. Hello, Fred. Hello. So when you're writing a yoik for Melody Grand Prix or Eurovision, do you approach it differently? Is the process different because of the restrictions? Yes, of course, you want to write a yoik as catchy as possible and a melody that people will remember. It must not be too difficult for the people of Europe and the world to yoik along to, but at the same time it must have the authenticity of the yoik in the bottom which must, of course, match the chords and the sound of the song. And the melody has to be balanced with Tom and Alex so it doesn't feel like out of place. And traditionally, we saw this, we haven't been mixing yoik with instruments, so it's only the last 40 years we have been doing that. Spirit in the Sky, of course, won the televote at Eurovision, and you are a favorite with Monument. How do you feel about how non sami people have reacted to your music? That includes the yoik. I am very happy for the reception we have received for all our songs. Um, especially for me, that yoik has been so well received. I've been like accepted as a form of music, and it's no longer just a strange expression or just a sound. For us in Kano, it means a lot that Monument has been so well received because I feel like we have been putting all our soul into this song and we have been working so hard with this and it represents the Scandinavian and Sami culture in a good way and it shows where we are like a band today and where we are going in the future. And of course, the Sami are Yoik experts, so I imagine they have a different standard. How have they reacted to your music? I experience a gratitude for having fronted Sami music and Yoik in the world and Europe from my fellow Samis and the people I meet. Uh, but in the beginning and before the Eurovision Song Contest in Tel Aviv, we experienced some criticism from somebody for mixing Yoik with pop music, and some went so far as not to call it Yoik. But for me, Yoik is a personal thing, and there is no final decision on how to interpret Yoik. But my yoik is based on the Norton Sami way of yoiking. And I grew up in the Sami culture and I grew up with yoik. And this would be my contribution to further develop and take care of the Sami culture. For in addition for being a rich culture, it must also feel relevant for those who carry on the legacy. And culture has always been developing in order to survive. And so has the yoik. And finally, through your Eurovision songs, you've become a real ambassador for the Sami culture. What's it like to see your culture, your heritage out there being discussed? For me, it was and is a great honor to represent the Sami culture on the Eurovision stage. And there are a lot of great Sami artists to discover who have been working hard for the Sami music culture. Thank you so much. We're wishing you lots of luck. See ya!